Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to a special Dr. Cassette video presentation. This is all about the Panasonic model WVP200E color video camera. And you've guessed it, we are using this camera for recording this video at the moment. And don't worry, we are going to switch to the Sony Handycam at the end of this video and take a look at the uh, camera itself. Now this is my most recent video acquiration. I just got it a couple of hours ago at a flea market. I paid 5 euro and it came with the original manual as you can see and unfortunately this manual is really falling apart so I carefully want to put it to the side. It also came with this Hitachi rechargeable battery pack in the original box. Now that is not part of the camera. That belongs to the portable VCR this camera originally came with. Or, well, the original owners originally used this camera with a Hitachi portable VCR. Uh, I couldn't get that portable VCR at the, flow, uh, at the flea market, so I am using my Mitsubishi portable VCR to power this camera. The camera also came with a camera light and that's the reason um, why our picture is so nice and bright and colorful. It's a 300 watt halogen light inside of there and I have it sitting over there so I don't have to look into the thing all the time because it's, it's blindingly bright. I can tell you that's really a crazy little thing. But it um, it makes the picture look very good. So that's uh, that's all the stuff I got along with this camera. So let's talk about the camera itself. This camera is um, from the early 80s. It was probably made in 1983 because the built-in calendar starts in 1983. And it uh, is a really advanced camera system. And I can tell you this thing was very expensive back whenever it was new. It's using a Seticon tube for recording the images. We are going to take a look at the technical specifications uh, in, in a couple of minutes. It has a autofocus system which is working with ultrasonic, ultrasonic waves. Now let's uh, get the manual and uh, just a couple of minutes ago I searched and okay here we have the technical data let's see this is running with 12 volts DC power, power consumption is 5.5 watts it has uh, 625 lines of resolution it has one single um, picture recording tube which is a um, a two-thirds inch high band SETICON uh, tube. The minimum lighting is, t is um, 1400 lux and uh, we are above that value. I actually had to turn the exposure down a little bit because uh, this video light is really doing a very good job. It has eight times optical zoom, optical zoom lens has a 1.5 inch uh, electronic viewfinder. Well, it says automatic white balance, but that can't be true because if you start this camera, if you plug it in to the VCR and turn it on, it wants you to make a white, um, to use the white balance uh, feature. And it weights 2 kilograms. This camera has a built-in Tidal generator, which is uh, really cool. You can have, you can um, put in three titles. Two titles can be very, just very big titles, and they're right in the middle of the screen. They can have two different sizes, and then you have this. Uh, the third title is like a subtitle thing, and as you can see, I have a little Dr. Cassette put into there. Now, the setup I'm using is, uh, well, it's as you can probably imagine, it's a very, very complicated setup. I have the camera sitting in front of me. 
The camera is hooked up to my Mitsubishi portable VCR. The antenna output of the Mitsubishi portable VCR is hooked up to a Universum portable black and white television, which, which is standing in front of me, right there. Of course, you can't see it. And uh, so that I can see myself. Then we have the video output of the Hitachi portable VCR uh, going into my Panasonic VHS non-portable VCR, which is in record mode. I am recording this all to VHS at the moment. The video output of the Panasonic non-portable VCR is hooked up to my computer's video capture card. So my computer is also recording this all. The Mitsubishi portable VCR has a messed up sound section. It just adds a loud buzzing noise to the sound. and It's still the same also with this camera. Um, so what I have to do is I have to use this external uh, microphone here, which is a uh, an old um, cassette recorder microphone that I found at a flea market. It's a dynamic microphone. That is hooked up to my Canon FS100 camcorder, which is recording us at the moment as well. So I'm probably able to do some nice uh, video editing here and uh, so that we can uh, see how the whole situation is looking at the moment. The Canon FS100 camcorder, the video output and audio output actually, the audio output of the Canon FS100 is hooked up to the audio input of my Panasonic non-portable VCR uh, and then of course also to the computer so we are getting the sound on another way so we don't have to go through the uh, Mitsubishi um, portable VCR. Now let's switch over to the Sony Handycam and take a look at the Panasonic camera itself. And here we have the Panasonic model WVP200E camera sitting on the tripod so that we can take a look. We have a electronic black and white viewfinder with on-screen display. Fortunately that rubber thing there is missing. It has a lock thing. If you release it you can slide it back and forth. This camera has a whole load of features and a whole load of buttons. I'm just going to give you a close-up of all those buttons. It's all pretty much self-explaining. Play means uh, this all becomes a remote for the VCR that's hooked up, uh, if the VCR supports that. There is for the focus all those settings. I currently have the focus turned off. This is for the white balance, indoor and outdoor, and uh, manual white balance setting. Down there we have uh, zoom, fast or slow, fader button, and AGC. Now that means uh, automatic gain control. It basically turns on an amplifier which makes the picture look brighter, but also you get a lot more grain, a lot grainier picture. And since I have this very very powerful 300 watt uh, halogen light, I don't need that AGC. Here we have uh, the power switch. You can either have it on on or standby one or two. Standby one. In standby one, the camera turns on faster when you put it back on on. In standby two, it takes a little bit until it comes back on, but uh, the power consumption is lower. You have the auto iris and white balance. some padding right there and uh, this is a shoulder support that uh, you can pull out like that. Also has some padding down on there. Up in there are even more buttons. That's for uh, date and time and uh, tape counter and that sort of stuff. Also has a negative effect right there. Uh, 
This is the front of the camera. There is the ultrasonic autofocus system in there. It's like a horn thing, which we unfortunately can't really see. There we go. Down in there is like a two-in-one speaker and a microphone for ultrasonic sound. If you want to know how this system works, you can do some research by yourself. There is the zoom buttons. And the handle is a battery compartment for a backup battery. On this side we have the record button. Up there is uh, where the viewfinder hooks up. You can also, um, which was an optional accessory, you can also get a camera remote. The internal microphone is right there. And it's detachable. You can take it off. You can also pull it out right there. But this is not the official external microphone jack. No, that's for the internal microphone. For external microphones, you have jacks down here. You can either have two-channel stereo, if your VCR supports that, or if your uh, VCR does not support that, you can just plug the single microphone into there, to the left jack, and you get mono sound. This side is not padded. And on the back, we have earphone jack and the output cable. And that's it, pretty much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you again soon.